So mm. behind me on the visual screen is you in play school and you're still, we spoke last time, you're still in play school. How often do you join the program? Well, when I began, I was on play school maybe three or four times a year and I'd be doing two or three episodes in every block. Um, but over the years as I've got older and a little bit more decrepit, I'm now only invited to do one episode a year. But I've been on it now for, um, gosh, 31 years, I think. So you can't remember your metaphor? Oh, no. <laughs> Snakes have always been a recurring symbol. It's the shedding of the skin, the ability to renew by letting go, but um, also have this fresh new body, fresh new um, uh, way of looking at the world. A fresh new skin, so to speak. So when we first met on the SYNC program, um, yeah, what skin were you in then? Oh, a really rough, patchy, falling apart one. Had lots of rents and tears in it. I think um, the thing about SYNC, when I came into it, I kind of felt like I'd reached a part, the end of my path too early. Um, that I was kind of operating in this bubble where I didn't, I knew I had a lot to offer and a lot to um, give back to the industry. Um, and I knew I had so much more creative energy to, you know, make use of. But I felt like I'd um, come to the end of the road. And I think Sync really put me back on uh, track. It is, um, it is a giving away of power when you let people tell you go well you're too old now or you're too deaf or you're too this that and the other and you just don't fit the mold shedding your skin from that time or did it take a shedding of skin where are you now with respect to that pressure you felt what's changed i think what changed is i'm a lot more confident about what i have to offer and the opinion and knowledge that i have and how i can best express that so it's of use to other people um i'm in a job at the moment where i'm in service to other creative people i enable them by um you know making funding decisions that enable them to create the works that they want to do works of art film and so on it's been a real privilege to be part of that process. And, but what that's given me, it's given me knowledge and it's given me experience and it's given me the ability to play at a level that I would have never been able to access. It was a bit of a kickstart, a bit of a refresher, a bit of a reskinning of um, what I really needed to do with my life because, um, you know, it's a really horrible feeling to be 40-something and feel like you're completely washed up with nothing to offer. Mm. Even though you, you know, have all of the training, all of the support when you're young, all of this, um, you're expected to succeed. But uh, when you face so many barriers as an artist with disability, it's um, really hard to hang on to that optimism. It, it gave me a reset and another way of looking at what I could do and what I could offer. It's um, very rare that you do get that, um, mm. what's the word? Um, Space. Encouragement? Um, encouragement and buoyancy. 